Okay, the witness, sir, and the I am. I mean, my, um, I don't really use the word I am, the I amness. Uh, the witness, sir, I use a lot. I'm very familiar with it. Um, uh, I would, I would imagine the I am presence is the experience of presence, which is uh, relatively unassociated uh, with uh, thoughts or body. So it's just a sense of being, uh, but it's not particularly um, uh, uh, um, separated. So there's no identification with thoughts or body or anything of that nature. It's just more a sense of non-local or, or relatively non-local presence or beingness. Um, whereas the witnesser, um, the witnesser is quite stunning when it first appears because you normally you have your everyday experience of being a body and being in the head. And then you, you do the witnesser experience and you suddenly get this awakening that there is a detached witnesser that is watching everything and it's not uh, it's not your it's not your, the thoughts or the body or anything that's associated with what, what you think you used to be and uh, as you rest into the observer you recognize this is your more um limitless state than being hooked into the the um the more limited state which in the beginning seems to be uh, in front but as you remain in the witness, sir, the, the limited state you always thought you were starts to dissolve away and evaporate with more practice until there is no witness, sir, witnessing the separated self. There's just the um, the non-local self, uh, the presence. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't use the word I am. A lot of teachers do do that, I think from India especially. But, um, um, yeah, I, that's what I imagine it to be. I'll stop there on that question. Okay.